Good day Philippines, this is Mike Padawa once again and we are back to our weather analysis for this Friday until Monday, July 2 to 5, 2021 and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Well, it looks like the tropics are getting busier at this time. We have a uh, active monsoon trough which is now affecting uh, Bicol region, Visayas, uh, Sulu Archipelago and Mindanao so expect more rainfall with uh, thunderstorms particularly in the afternoon or evening and as the weekend progresses there might be some morning rainfall and thunderstorms as well and uh, Luzon will also be affected by the trough of the monsoon and it looks like the uh, Batanes and Babuyan group of islands have some relief right now good weather is being experienced over this area because of the weakening of the uh, southwesterly southeast wind flow outside of par within the monsoon trough we are looking at a uh, development of a low pressure area and right now it has been uh, given a tag ID 96W so this LPA has formed over uh, the vicinity of Western Micronesia in between Palau and Yap and has a low chance of developing in the tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours but on Sunday or Monday there might be a possibility that it may become a tropical depression so we are keeping an eye on this system since it is now July uh, more and more tropical cyclone development will occur over the Philippine Sea and the uh, West Philippine and South China Sea as well. And uh, this system, 96W, is moving west-northwest and it's expected to bring lots of rainfall, isolated to scattered and sometimes widespread across uh, the southern areas of Luzon, Visayas, Palawan and uh, Mindanao. And uh, also, if it intensifies into a tropical depression, it might enhance the southwest monsoon and bring lots of rainfall across the western sections of the Philippine Islands. So we are keeping an eye on 96W, and it is now uh, approaching the Philippine area of responsibility. So later today or tomorrow, it will be inside of the Philippine area of responsibility or over the eastern sections of the Philippine Sea. And right now, the computer models are still uh, uh, having some 50-50 chances of developing it into a tropical cyclone, except for the uh, American model, where it could become a tropical depression or even a tropical storm as it moves in the general direction of the Batanes and Babuin Cabo Islands. That's the forecast of the American model. We're going to show to you the track, the uh, ensemble from the American model, before we end this uh, analysis, let's move forward. Here's the uh, latest uh, fast animation. You can clearly see the active uh, cloudiness generated by the monsoon trough and some uh, swirling of the low pressure area over this area and some uh, organization will occur within the next uh, 24 to 48 hours or through the weekend. And if we look at the zoom in satellite animation, we can already uh, witness some development of massive thunderstorms across Sulu Archipelago, Palawan, portions of the Visayas as well as Mindanao and uh, increasing thunderstorm activity over the southern Tagalog provinces which includes areas of uh, Laguna, Batangas where the uh, um, Taal volcano sits so there could be some rainfall so please take all necessary precautions because the uh, volcano at Taal is currently at alert level 3 so there could be some impending eruption and let's hope it won't happen because lots of uh, Filipinos will get affected by that uh, eruption especially over the areas of Batangas and nearby areas so right now here in the Bicol region there are some isolated thunderstorms developing so we, uh, we could experience some heavy rainfall uh, through the afternoon in some isolated areas of uh, Bicol region particularly here in uh, Camarini Sur but still sunshine will occur as the afternoon moves through and uh, here comes the LPA it's somewhere here these are up uh, mid level these are mid level cloudiness generated by the uh, monsoon trough and we are still observing uh, until the development of this LPA into an active one it's still a uh, moderate LPA it's located in the vicinity of uh, between uh, Yap and uh, 
Palau. So this is already the uh, part of the LPA starting to organize. And if we look at the three-day rainfall accumulation through the weekend until Monday, it looks like majority of the Philippine Islands will get wet because of the development of this uh, LPA here and the active monsoon trough. When we say monsoon trough, it's the uh, uh, convergence of the southwesterly winds and the northeasterly winds. So if it does converge, so this is known as this monsoon trough and it will uh, generate some massive thunderstorms across the Bicol region, uh, central and southern Luzon, uh, the western sections of uh, the western sections of Mindoro, as well as other parts of Mindoro and uh, Visayas and Mindanao. Palawan will also get some isolated thunderstorms through the weekends. And here's the uh, wind forecast as well as the pressure forecast from the uh, ECMWF. So let's first discuss the American model. So for the next uh, three days until uh, Monday, so tomorrow, Saturday, here comes the LPA becoming a, a tropical cyclone. And on Sunday, it may become a tropical depression or trop tropical storm. And on Monday, it will accel accelerate towards the Batanes and Babuin group of islands as a tropical storm or even a uh, severe tropical storm. And we could see here the uh, uh, pool of the southwesterly or southwest monsoon across Mimaropa and Visayas. So that's the forecast from the uh, American model. And if we look at the uh, European model, it looks like it will remain as a low pressure area traversing the Bicol area and the central zone. And once it reaches the West Philippine Sea, it could become a tropical depression west of Manila. So these are different uh, computer output from these uh, reliable computer models. So we will uh, observe this this coming weekend. If it does develop, we will issue special coverage here at YouTube and Facebook videos as well as our social media sites for the latest uh, storm updates on this uh, uh, tropical uh, disturbance, as well as our website typhoon2000.ph. And uh, again, uh, even in the uh, European model, the uh, southwest monsoon will be uh, getting enhanced by this uh, tropical disturbance, which could become a tropical cyclone once it reaches the West Philippine Sea. So it's a different take from both of the computer models. The European model say, says it will intensify into a tropical cyclone west of uh, uh, Luzon, while the uh, American model, it will uh, become a tropical cyclone northeast of Bicol region as it moves towards Bahanes and Babu and Cuba Islands. So we will uh, be seeing the clear picture of this uh, development, particularly this weekend, once the two computer models agree on what will be the track of this uh, uh, low pressure area. Now let's take a look at the American model ensemble. This is the GFS ensemble. This is taken from the tropicaltidbits.com website, courtesy of Le Levy Cohen. So here's the uh, uh, track based on the 2 a.m. Uh, forecast. These are the uh, ensemble of the American model that shows a general track towards uh, extreme northern Luzon, particularly Batanes and Mabu and Cobo Islands, which is common or normal during this time of the year. So uh, July and August, uh, most of the development of tropical cyclones tends to move towards northern Luzon and extreme northern Luzon, uh, where the Batanes and Babuyan and Cobo Islands uh, are located, and also over the areas of Taiwan and eastern China, as well as the southern islands of Japan. So these are common tracks of tropical cyclones during the month of uh, uh, July. That's why Pagasa uh, says that this month, there could be an average of one to three tropical cyclones that may enter the Philippine area of responsibility based on the st statistical historical data uh, since 1940s. Okay, and if we look at the uh, European model, so this is the European model uh, forecast ensemble as well, taken from the 18 Zulu or 2 a.m. Uh, data from the uh, Metrologics website. So these are the uh, ensemble from the uh, 
European model and it shows a track towards Luzon so it's a different take of this computer model and uh, based on this majority of the dots shows a tropical storm or a tropical depression west of uh, Luzon so here it will remain as a low pressure area so it will track here and then there so that's the uh, forecast ensemble from the European model so right now it's still at 50% chance if it will go towards an extreme low Luzon or across Luzon so we'll keep you updated this uh, coming weekend if it does intensify into a uh, tropical uh, cyclone okay so there you go uh, that's the latest for this uh, uh, weekend uh, Friday and we will be returning again this coming Monday if uh, no development occurs but if it does intensify into a tropical cyclone we will be issuing this weekend Saturday and Sunday here at Mr. Typhoon TV for the latest on that LPA okay from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be, hasht be hashtag weather wiser. Happy weekend to all. And thank you so much for watching our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, click on the notification bell for the latest on these systems.